Hello, and welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. My name is Robbie Hoyler, and today's topic is materiality and SOLIDWORKS simulation Easter egg. If you have access to SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional or SOLIDWORKS Simulation Premium, there is a hidden materials database inside of SOLIDWORKS Simulation that you can access. It's on the web, and it's only accessible within SOLIDWORKS Simulation. So here I have a muffler guard on my screen, and what I want to do is show you that inside of the normal materials library, you will not have access to this link. So to access this feature, you will have to go to your add-ins and turn on SOLIDWORKS Simulation. Once you have the simulation tab open, and I already have a study set up, I'm going to change the material in the simulation tab at the bottom. And once I go into edit my material, here a link is going to show up for SOLIDWORKS materiality. Now, I want to use a different steel for my muffler guard. I want to use AISI 201 stainless steel. There is a 201 stainless steel within the SOLIDWORKS library that everyone has access to, but the yield strength isn't what's available for the material that I have in the shop, so I need to find another steel. To do that, I can click this link here, and then of course you have a pop-up from SOLIDWORKS that uh, releases them from liability if you use any of these materials. However, if you hit OK, your web browser will pop up to a database. Now, it already detects that I'm in a dynamic study and the type of material that I need to run with. So all I need now is to select a metal and find a stainless steel. I have four databases I can search and locate materials in. As I travel through, I can locate AISI 201 stainless, and I get a brief pop-up. If I click the green dot, another pop-up will appear, and then it'll give me the material properties of this particular metal. And I like the yield strength of this one. It matches what I have in the shop. And of course, there are multiple tabs where you can find data on some of these. Many of these materials will have stress strain curves and all sorts of different studies that uh, are done with them. After you have found your material, you can simply hit download and it will ask you to change your file location for this material. I want to download this uh, part here and then inside of my materials database, the materiality AISI 201 stainless steel is going to show up and all of that information from the web can now be used in my study. Once I change my material, I've gone in and used materiality to find a material and download and edit the material in my simulation. This has been TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.